Do you ever forget where you put something really important? Like your keys or your wallet or, I don't know, an entire $500 million satellite. In 2003, technicians at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center were preparing the NOAA-19 weather satellite for launch. This was a critical tool for forecasting storms, saving lives, and advancing climate science. But during a routine procedure, disaster struck. The technicians needed to rotate the satellite, but it was bolted to its stand with 24 bolts. And when they tried to turn it, it didn't budge. So they decided to turn it anyway. Bad idea. The satellite lurched forward, slipped off the stand, and came crashing face first onto the floor. Now, you might be wondering, how much damage could a 3,000 pound satellite hurtling towards the ground at 17 miles per hour possibly do? Turns out, a lot. The satellite's delicate instruments were badly damaged. Repairs cost $135 million. But the real impact was much greater than that. The launch was delayed three years. The satellite's scientific capability was reduced and critical research time was lost. All told, the blunder cost well over $500 million. To make matters worse, this wasn't some obscure footnote in a NASA report or some obscure satellite. It was the crown jewel of America's polar orbiting weather satellite system. It was supposed to be the centerpiece of a multi-billion dollar program to monitor Earth's climate and weather patterns from the poles all the way to the tropics. It was supposed to provide critical data for understanding El Nino and El Nino and La Nina. To climate patterns that occur in the Pacific Ocean and can have devastating impacts on weather patterns around the world. It was supposed to help scientists track hurricanes and other storms as they form and evolve. But now, it was just a very expensive hunk of space junk sitting in a Maryland parking lot. So what's the moral of this story? Don't forget to remove the 24 bolts before you try to rotate a 3,000 pound satellite. But seriously, this story is a cautionary tale for all of us who work in high-stakes environments. Whether you're a doctor performing surgery or an engineer launching a rocket, it's easy to get caught up in the details and forget the big picture. But sometimes the simplest steps are the most important ones. And in space exploration, there's no such thing as a small mistake. This is the host with me. And if you want to learn more about how the screw-ups that make it into space, check out our video on the James Webb Space Telescope. We'll see ya next time!